The one live. This is 2OF Entertainment. Do you know why some businesses succeed and some businesses fail? Why some businesses grow and some businesses don't? That's what this show is all about. Business, business, business. And we're back. We are. <laughs> we are back. Just, 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 just the three musketeers because um, some, some wait, of wait, them, wait, wait. some, some wait, of the members are out looking for their own members. I think that's it. Right. Let's think it first of all. More like the three stooges. Let's not go. Let's not get carried away with the three musketeers. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not that old. This yeah, is the old. This, this is the original. This is the original crew from the early this days. This is it. That this is, is the yeah. crew. This is like yeah. a throwback. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. This is and and, and thanks to David, we have topics because everybody was busy this week. I was in L.A. Yeah. Um, Michael was, was doing his stuff. Uh, L.A. Can I tell you, it's very interesting. I mean, a lot of interesting Dubai, people. Different than Dubai. I went to, to Dubai. I was supposed to be in Saudi Arabia for the leap, which is the Davo, the tech Davos thing. So instead, we sent other people because I was like, yeah, I don't really want to go back on a 26 hour flight. I just got here. But there was stuff going on in LA. So I went to that. And that was very interesting. Enjoyed that. Met a lot of interesting people. Um, and it's interesting to get the perspective of what people think, you mm -hmm. know, different family offices and different investing groups and what they're investing in and what they don't like and what they like. So that was, uh, that was a, that was a fun event. Um, and then I have the big shout out to Ocean Prime in Beverly Hills. Um, if you go to the ocean is a nice restaurant. And if you go to our Instagram to old farts making noises, you will see a picture of ocean prime and a glass of scotch. Oh, that, that um, is so, is, that is so standard. Oh, well. Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Just, no, really? no, that actually stands out my pictures. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have no clothes on in the picture as well. Yeah. So it's a whole, you know, a whole thing. Well, and then after well, that, then, they asked me to leave. Yeah. Yeah. So say, well, let let's pay the rent, and then Mike can tell us what we're what, 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 tell us what we're going to talk about today. Okay. Go for it. Get the freedom and the flexibility of remote work in the lucrative tech industry. Bend your life around, around the world. Bendicoot is the premier course and community for thriving in a remote tech career. Join the revolution today. Bendicoot.com official partner of the Lost Dollar Business Club. Stephen, you didn't take photographs of, of dinners. I mean, really? Not really. Not, not, no, no, not Asian. Not of a dinner. Of the most important uh, thing at dinner. My oh, scotch. This, this yes, scotch. I could care less. I'm Listen, I've married the Asians, dated the Asians, I've done lots with Asians. I've done things you can't even talk to about Asians. But anyway, um, I yeah. when I dated this girl many years ago and, and when I lived in L.A., she was taking pictures like the food would come out and she would take pictures of the food. So one day like, she's taking pictures because you couldn't eat like took 20 minutes to set up the perfect shot. And I was like, I'm dying here. I would take pictures of her taking pictures of the food and she would be posting. I'd say, no, you should post this. Um, yeah. so it was just well, that's, sort of the way, that's, the that's very meta. That's very yeah, meta. My, mine literally yeah. was just I was in a nice dark corner and I was like, This is a really cool the candle, the scotch glass. And I looked at it and said, This would be a cool shot. And I just went click. And then I drank the scotch. I was like, It didn't take me like it took a maybe three seconds to set the shot up. So it was not a typical, yeah, right. I do the food, whatever. It's a, bit, it's a bit like Ricky Gervais. Yeah. He, goes, he goes out with his partner and she, she takes all these photographs and he takes her photographs of her shadow. Great. Right. Yeah. And posts them, you know. So, uh, yeah, I don't, yeah. I, can, I don't, I could care less about setting stuff. Even when you guys go to our, my Instagram or two old farts Instagram and you see cigars when we're traveling the world and we're smoking cigars and there's, a, it's literally, I look at it and go, that looks like a good shot. Click. And everybody laughs and they're like, do you want to set it up? And do, I'm like, no, no, I took the picture, no. and they're like, "But we can make no. it better." We got. I go, "No, we can't." I took the moment. It's the moment we're in. That's the <laughs> moment I'm enjoying. I'm not setting. Yeah. I'm not like. It's not Vogue. There's not cigar aficionado, no, it's, right? It's, I don't it's, suppose it's, it's not Vogue. It's uh, you're stuck in. You're you're stuck. I think in Polaroid. You're in Polaroid. 
I mean, I, let me, I know, I know I'm in cave drawing with the guy with the chisel and goes, that is what I like to be in the moment. Like I could care less if I, if it looks like it's cool, I'll whip oh, yeah, it out you, and I'm talking about my the, phone and click. You went to the developed, uh, the developed cage. Cause I'm, I'm the one I went to, I just had to blow all this stuff onto the cave wall, you know, so just to get all the embryo, but there you go. That's, that's called, story. that's called cocaine. So oh. um, <laughs> that's a, that's a right, different okay. blow. So, 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 so Michael, what, what cocaine fueled news are we going to talk oh, about? Oh boy. Well, you would know, David, you supplied all the news this week. There you go. <laughs> I I really I've lost, lost it on the feed. I've lost it on the feed. I'll leave it to you. Okay. All right. Well, here we go. Here we go. So we'll start off by talking about one of our favorite topics, chat GPT and open AI, because Elon Musk is suing them now. Very, Again. very about that. We can talk about that. We should also bring up the fact that uh, they have some serious competition now in uh, Gemini 1.5 Pro, which yep. is Google's, uh, Google's effort, and also Anthropic's Claude which apparently codes really well, really, really well. And, yeah. uh, and can oh, that's put a- That's clever then. That's clever. It's they just go, go, for a, go for a niche market and just call it the whole, the whole coding part of it. Of they're, the gonna take, they're, they're apparently taking leaps and bounds on that. And then we've got uh, Apple and iPhone sales in China, which apparently are not doing well, although- <laughs> oh, I'm so upset by that. Oh, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big, just, big news, though. Big news. It was a three, almost a three percent drop in Apple stock. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Oh, I mean, are, are these people only going to be in the poorhouse now? Is that what we got to worry about? You know, are they, are, they on, are they on Skid Row? I mean, really? Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, what's I love the band. Yeah. And yeah. then, uh, and then we've got the Bitcoin conversation. Oh uh, God. There are Bitcoin whales. Where are all the Bitcoins? Where we, we want to know because the banks are well, buying. They've, they've, they've all moved from Wales. They've all gone to Scotland and Northern oh, Ireland. Okay. So they've relocated. So they, they, they've relocated. Yeah, yeah. It was okay. a typo, I think. Oh, okay. I'll have to. We'll have to check. And that. the other thing we should mention, <laughs> yes. which we may or may not oh. get to. It. Oh, we've got one. More. What do you mean? Oh, what do you mean? Oh, what is this? What do you? Uh, why am I being persecuted? Is it because I'm Jewish? Is that it? Is that what's going on here? Um, yeah, oh, so. Yeah. Oh, you know, if the hat fits with Stephen, if the yarmulke fits where? Okay. So anyway, yeah. the other thing we should discuss is BYD, um, the electric car company from China, which Ooh. Warren Buffett, by the way, has an investment in, which mm -hmm. most people don't know. So Warren likes the guys from Panda Land, yeah. and it is the now the number one EV company in the world. Still, Elon, yeah. eat it, and um, I'm, and their cars are better. They have a supercar, which we've talked about. Um, it, it's the not, it's the number nine. I can't remember the rest of it, but it's like 150,000 us. And if it ever makes it to the U S that will be the supercar that I would purchase in a minute because it's better than any of the crap that's out there. And that includes Bugatti, um, Pagani, Conan sack, all of them. It is wow. for the it's money. Dangerous. It's gorgeous. Yeah. 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 But, but, but for the, the the normal person, I mean, if you if you want to find out about the BYD Dolphin, I think it's called in Europe. Yeah. Um, there's a there's a review on on the Two F channel. There's something yeah. the brown car guy. A review of the Dolphin. Yeah, yeah. Go to the uh, go to yeah. Hypercar yeah. and the playlist and 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 Brown Car yeah. Guy who supplies us our car reviews has uh, done right. a review yeah. of it. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see about it's called a Dolphin. It looks like one too. And it's cool. it's, good. it's very cool when you touch it. It's all yeah. exciting. <laughs> they're, 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 they're quite well. Uh, yeah, yeah they, they, they look good. Yeah. You know, Listen, when you have six-year-olds working in your factory, when you have six-year-olds working in your factory and you don't want to go that, home and you've got that child no. labor, that's how you build all a good product. No, no, no. All, all that means is that all that means is that the nuts and, and the bolts are, are even tighter because of the small fingers. That's the problem with Boeing. It's tighter than the United. That's, the, that's, the, pro that's the problem with Boeing. You know, they didn't have enough child labor to get all the bolts. That's right. Screwed. That's right. Their hands are too big. No. And, now, too big. and now the tires are, are loose too. So uh, allegedly, yeah. allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Yeah. Right, right. We don't know where that that tire came from. No. Boeing, no. since they acquired McDonnell Douglas, is such a piece of did crap. They, did they buy because, McDonald's? Well, yeah, they did. McDonnell Douglas. They did a merger. And before they oh, merged wow. with Bo with Boeing and before the merger with Boeing and McDonald, their slogan was everybody can ask questions and everybody must think and everybody can stop a production line and all this other stuff. Right. The right. minute they McDonald and them did it, it reversed to shareholder 
um, uh, shareholder price, stockholder price, blah, blah, blah. They don't care about quality. They don't care about crap. So it's proving with tires, doors, it's just a piece of crap company. And which is a shame that- because until they did it, Boeing was like the company. That's now right. it's this like I, I would fly an Airbus. Anytime there's a Boeing, like I flew Boeing, American Airlines uses Boeing. And I'm looking at the numbers, making sure it's not one of the Boeings with issues. Um, but when I get on the Airbus, I'm out like a light. I feel comfortable does, on an does, Airbus. They make a does that mean now that if I go when I go to McDonald's, I can yeah. get I can book a flight on a Boeing airplane? Is that what it? It, co- it comes Are comes you, together. You think they go together? Well, you said some. Think, you said that to me. McDonald's, <laughs> McDonald, <laughs> McDonald, McDonald Douglas. Oh, not Douglas. McDonald's oh, what, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. oh right. Is that the same McDonald's who had a farm? Is that the one? That one. Yeah, yeah, old McDonald had a farm yesterday. So, yeah, uh, you know, so, we, yeah. I can't wait for his nurse to come and wheel him back. So. <laughs> she's been. I'm, I'm, I'm pumped today. He's waiting too. Yeah, he's he's excited. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. All right. So, pick. Where do we want to go with Bitcoin, let's, let's China, or the ISO. let's start with the opening ISO because they're under a lot of they're under a lot of competition and a lot of different angles. Okay. But now, uh, Elon Musk, who was one of the original founders of OpenAI, is actually right. suing them in a California court yes. for diverging from their original mission, which was to be an open an open platform for artificial right. intelligence. And uh, apparently uh, there's a lot of drama around it. But the yeah. main thing is, it just seems like, I mean, he he's, makes a good point in the sense that originally it was supposed to be very different than the profit-seeking body that it is now. But right. he's, not involved, right. he's not involved in it. He's not involved in it anymore. And uh, and I don't know I don't how that I don't know how that's uh, suit worthy lawsuit worthy unless it's maybe just to get attention or to make it difficult for them. Well, he said he put a hundred million in, and they've, they've already shown emails that it's only forty five million. So, oh wow! Uh, yeah. So, yeah. so his argument doesn't stack up, and he he right. said something to them about we said they said, they said oh we got all these emails uh, Elon we kept those that's uh, right that's you know right. it's all about it's all about what you were saying you know. Uh, we can use t- Tesla as a cash cow. We can do this. We can do uh-huh. that. So it well, doesn't look too, doesn't look too pretty. Doesn't yeah, pretty. it doesn't look pretty, but, right. But, Elon, you can come on the show and slap me around and tell me how it is. That's what yeah, I tell- like that, by the way. Yeah, yeah. He wants to be slapped around because he has. A, we've given him a gold platinum membership at Hilgo's House of Pain. So he does like oh, being thought, slapped yeah. around a little oh, bit. Yeah. So he, we'll we'll yeah. make him an honorary member of the Lost Dollar Business Club. Is we can come on. He can come on week. weekly and tell us yeah, we, absolutely we nothing. We can bring yeah. him on. But it's let me just say this about Mister Mister. I have a small penis. Um, the problem is, is that I think he does it for attention. There are other, from what I understand from the people that I know that are leap, there are other, including Hero, are one of the other sponsors on this show. They're going to be coming out with a new ad because they are about to release their AI, which is going to make all these other AIs in the business community look like crap. Um, oh, wow. It's multilingual, multi-this, self-learning. I mean, it's a whole thing. So in the next couple of weeks, we may have another video and have a demo of it. Um, but demo from, would be good. Yep. From what I've seen, wow. And it is light years ahead of everybody. So... I think part of this is there are big claims here. Every, every everybody's doing it, like Gemini. They're exactly. all claiming to be. And really, when you think about it, it's kind of like a car. If I may, I'm mean, just simplistic. Is the Model T came out, and then the next car, and the next car. So today, whatever the cars are, and in a year from now, those cars are ahead of these cars. Yeah, so I think true. AI is no different than a car. As we get. Um, as AI learns more, as we learn more, as computing power increases, really what's happening is it's just the next evolution. Yeah. Unfortunately for Musk, who cares if it becomes a profit-seeking thing? All you want are profits. I mean, I mean, all you all you want attention, apparently. You weren't loved enough as a child, I guess. Your mother didn't breastfeed you because she liked you as a friend. But the <laughs> problem is, is that it's everybody you need profit because you can't be this huge nonprofit. Because you got to make money to go forward. Like we pay money to well, do, you know what I mean? So I don't get well, his. Let me explain. His, I mean, when 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 Sam Altman was saying how much money is needed, he thinks is needed right. to actually get to artificial general intelligence. I right, mean, right. you're not going to get that in a in a nonprofit model. It's just no correct. Well, yeah, it, but it's not only the money that's the problem now that uh, the people are getting upset about. It. Certainly here in Europe, is the um, you know the big data centers that uh, that the American companies Please. are putting up. 
huge, which sucking, uh, you know, like a whole, like a whole, uh, you know, half a state full of electricity every time they turn the lights on, on and off, <laughs> and, the, and the and the amount of, uh, of of water that you need to keep it all cool, cool. Yeah. and it has to be so, it has to be sweet water. So there's yeah. there's uh, some environmental, uh, you know, obstacles coming along. Not that I'm waving a green flag about it and saying we shouldn't be doing it, but you know, this one of those. It's a fair uh, we, point. We might it might be contained literally by by physics by the fact that it's you know that with mm. there's just not enough oomph and just not enough water to. Uh, well, you have to believe in. Uh, you, you, I have to believe in the in the at least in some semblance of Moore's law and that technology will continue advancing. Yeah, yeah. We'll, find, yeah, yeah. we'll find a way to get through it. But you make a good point about the data centers. You know, Google for all it's worth, Google and Facebook with ma massive data centers have been working very hard to make, to be the cutting edge of green data centers, or at least data centers that don't use as much water and, and are actually yeah. uh, more contained than, than than traditional data centers. You just hope that that technology gets out to the to the broader data center market. I'm not sure how widespread. Yeah, they, seem, they seem to be doing some sort of, a lot of in Europe, they're doing a lot of what they call green swaps. So they're saying, okay, um, we, we need water, but we're also producing an incredible amount of heat. So right. you know, let let's put the the heat back. Uh, you can have the heat for free. Um, mm. You know, there's as another yeah. way of. I mean, I, certainly in the, in Scandinavian countries where there are a few uh, reasonable mid-sized um, data centers, half the half the towns are run are kept warm by the amount of electricity. In well, oh, I didn't know that. Amazing. So, cool. um, oh, in a couple so, of years, it'll just make every day summer there. It won't matter. So yeah, with the, yeah, the yeah. climate change or global. Well, warming, I wish so. it'd be every day summer here because I'm I'm still building an arc. But there you go. Okay. <laughs> that's, 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 it's still, right in your backyard. Raining. Right in your backyard. Yeah. It's still been raining every yeah. day. We have rain every day since I think maybe today's the first time since October, and we haven't finished yet. That so wow. we haven't had any rain. Wow. So, so that's hence the arc. But but the other thing that's funny, you know, as ChatGPT mm -hmm. matures and Gemini matures and this one matures and that one matures yeah. and say Hero AI, they all mature into whatever mm -hmm. their space and specialty is. If you remember 100 years ago for the kids, there was a company called Yahoo. And Yahoo yes. was was the company. The like, company. No one's ever going to beat Yahoo. They were the best. MySpace. And then all of a sudden. MySpace. Well, no, no, no. Kind of MySpace. But Yahoo yeah. was like Yahoo, Yahoo. And then Google came. And all of a sudden, Yahoo, you people don't even remember Yahoo, just like MySpace, right? But everybody hates Facebook. Not everybody hates Google. Um, but now you have Google, and they became this dominant player. And at some point, just like it and T went away, and just like this one goes away, someone will come with a better mousetrap, mm -hmm. and Google will go away. So as all these, if you will, the, these new infants, ChatGPT and Gemini and this one and that one and all of them come to market, whether it's Euro or somebody else in the background that's building a better mousetrap, they will come out and they will dwarf everybody and everyone will use them. You know, it's yeah. kind of like when you, when you speak about a mobile phone, 90% of the people, I was, like I was at the, with the conferences I've been at, they have an iPhone, they have an iPhone. That's all. And no one says, do you have like a Samsung? Do you have an Android? Uh -huh. It's all oh, like do you, you have, it, right, you know. Is it a, is it a must do thing then for all the, for all you Polaroid picture taking, um, Recycle teenagers, Maybe. you all have to have uh, an iPhone. Is that what the latest called? iPhone? I just listen for me. I use an iPhone because it integrates to all. My, I have the I, I have a laptop. I, have yeah, all the other stuff. All, I can put I put somebody's information in. It's across all my platforms. I can share stuff. It's just easy. I've used Samsung phones. They're wonderful, but then I have to integrate somehow into my Apple products, and that's a pain in the butt. The guys I was Whoa. with in, in Dubai and the guys I were with in Beverly Hills this week, they have now the new Fold phone, uh -huh. the coolest product I've seen. I know Apple's coming up with one God knows when. It's but it's I, was like, that is, yeah. I was like, that is really cool. It's like this, you it, it looks like a normal phone and then you open it. Yeah. And I'm like, ooh, and you can do things with the screen. I was like, this is cool, but it's Samsung. So the problem I have is... But there's an integrate into Apple. The software. It's the software. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's awesome. yeah but for, for us poor people, we're we're, uh -oh. we're stuck. Uh, we're stuck with the Android. <laughs> with a flip point. It's, it's a, yeah, because it's a it's at a price point that we can afford. Because Apple here is is you know it's like we have it's to a, take our mortgage to walk in the shop. 
is too ridiculous. Right, right. And so it's very much a lifestyle choice, man. Mm. Well, you know, but that okay, so well. Maybe that's and, why uh, in China they're not choosing Apple as much as they uh, are choosing. Oh, yeah, but it's it's a big it's a big push. I mean, I, I saw uh, again another folding phone like you were talking about, Stephen, and it yeah. folded open, and that, and yeah. so this was like like the old clam things. It folded up that way, and then you could actually pull an extra screen out. And it made yes, it as I've seen that. It's a laptop. So, yeah. Wow. Wow. You know, and, and, and wearables as well, wearable mm -hmm. screens on your arms. I mean, yeah, that's so. Where what are they the buying in China? Saying, if they're not buying Apple, what are they buying? Are they well, buying they're, Howie? Saying, they're saying that their domestic phones are doing a lot better this year, or Howie. at least yeah, in the okay. first, at least in the first, you know. But first they would, year. but they would all be Androids, wouldn't they? So that, again, yes. so they would. Yeah, the Huawei. Yeah. You've got the Huawei, Oppo, Vivo, and Xiaomi. So yeah. uh, bless you. These yeah. are all. <laughs> these are all apparently uh, aggressive priced middle range phones right. and. Uh, Huawei was up sixty. They say sixty four percent in the in the domestic market uh, yeah. over the past year. So that's Huawei. Well, I will tell you, I've used their I've used their product, and their products are wonderful. They're better than Apple. I'm sorry, Apple. I mean, I use you here in the states, but I've used their their stuff's better. I've used their um, back in the day. We we used their 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 what you call it that would connect us to the internet. We used their laptop. Their, we used all their stuff, and their stuff was oh. wonderful. And now they have all the information <laughs> out I, I, I don't really, I don't, it's just, it's just basically everybody's name and phone number. Um, that's fine. No, but it was very, I, I thought their stuff was great. I mean, it was wonderful. And then um, I got turned on to an Apple and I used yeah. an Apple and I, the ease of it was like, really? So what happened was, is I was a big everything. I didn't like Microsoft's crap, right? So I didn't no. like that. But a buddy of mine had an Apple. He goes, you should try it. So I bought a MacBook Pro and I was like, wow, this is, yeah, I just MacBook open Pro. it up and, and, it could, and, it, and it connects to the internet with such ease. Everything was easy. I just, and with, you know, when you get a regular computer back in the day, it was an event, right? You had to click these buttons right. and do 42 steps. A MacBook, I opened it up. I go to my buddy, he was on the phone in California with me. He goes, did you open it? I go, yeah. I go, now what do I do? He goes, click that icon. I go, I do. He goes, type in your internet password. I said, okay, I did. He goes, you're on. I like, oh. <gasps> And it was like it was like a light, oh. and then a couple of weeks later, I bought the iPad, and about a month or two later, I bought the iPhone, and I said, "Now what do I do?" And he goes, "He goes, just turn it on," and, and he said, "Everything will just connect," and it did. And I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, so true. that's the issue when you buy Microsoft products well, and Android first, products; they don't all integrate. First world problems. Uh, I know <laughs> I, it's tough. It's tough. Yeah. Well, actually, it's it, it's it's my butler's problem. I make it first, that, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. But no. I mean, I, I, we, I joke about it, but it is a, a price yeah. point, certainly in Europe, which just is right. eye watering. No, it's, yeah, I mean, right. um, you know, where you sort of like a whole month's wages just on the telephone, oh, yeah. and you drop yeah. it, you know, yeah. and, and you drop it, <laughs> or you have to have, make an appointment to go to the Apple Sweet Store. Yeah. You, know, so you, you have to, you know, oh, oh, it's my time to go. Are... It's my time to go in and 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 oh, these wonderful Apple products. You know, it's like, yeah. It's, you know, well, you know, what can well, I say? No. Dave, David's not subscribing to that. No, well, I yes. think only if I had the money because I, I came up through the old, uh, you know, eighty eighty six chips, the very first oh, yeah. ones, and the old the old the old XT. So, and right. computers were my hobby when they when they first oh, nice. started. So, yeah. Put the put the disc in, boot it up, you know, the floppy yeah. disk, and then where the, 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 the world of the fans. Yeah. And then yeah. the revolutionary three and a half inch disc, you know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, this is well, really yeah, I mean so you know, so I, I came for up the kids, that, those so. were called floppy discs. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 but just remember now it's, now they know it, most, in now those they know days, the save icon. You know, they know it as the save icon now. Yeah, yeah, right. That's, right. that's, that's true. Right. They know it's a save but, icon. They don't know it's but in those else. days, in those days, real men didn't have floppies. You know, that's, 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 that's how you did not know. My that's first how. portable laptop was a 386 Commodore. Wow. Yeah. The 386. And wow. I remember that thing weighed as much as a car. And it had like <laughs> a battery life of two hours. <laughs> and you had a if plug. Like literally, you just left it plugged in all the time. And I remember... When they first gave it to us to use, you could, they used Lotus One Two Three because there was no Microsoft back then. Yeah, and Lotus One Two Three was your yeah, that was your spreadsheet, and that's what you worked with. And I was like, well, this is interesting, and it was very cool, and it played like one golf game, you know, and that was it. So it was very just cool to use it, and seeing where it's been to where it is today is just phenomenal. Yeah. 
it, Lotus, it is one, awesome. Lotus 123, Word Perfect, of course, which right. everybody had a copy of because I think, I think it was a, a Mormon product originally. And so huh. they just went over the whole world and everybody had Word Perfect. And yeah, and just, so, so Microsoft, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and then with Microsoft, was it like Microsoft 95, I think it was, it came out in... Yeah, Windows 95 year, had... had or whatever uh, it was. And that's, <clears> that's, when, that's when Microsoft then got onto the, the, the icon-based uh, system that yeah. Apple had been, had been using. Right. And, and um, you know... My yeah, first was laptop was the, uh, I mean, it was it was uh, the PowerBook Duo. It was a PowerBook Duo of, of yeah. you know, one of Apple's laptops. And yeah. the thing was, it was great, but I would take it into class in high school and the fan, the, the hard so drive, loud. turn on, it was so loud. Everybody <laughs> knew when it was using it, you know. But the, thing <laughs> is, but the thing is, they liked getting my notes after class. So, right, you know, right. it's a trade-off, it's yeah. a trade-off, yeah. yeah. And today, you don't even hear the fans. So no, no it's like you don't, I don't care what you're, whether it's a gaming okay. computer or whatever, like the alien no, computers, no. the fan runs a little bit, but you still, you kind of hear it, but then you don't, but these yeah. other things, they run cool. It's no big deal. Like well, I remember you, if you put the, the are you have to yeah. go to, there is a web, there is a website if you want to listen to it though. It's called only fans. So you can uh, go <laughs> No. Uh, well, I, thought they were, I was getting excited there. You know, I thought, where yeah, can yeah. I hear these old computers? You know, it's, and, and oh, it's loads of sites. There's loads of sites for that. For that loads there's loads of stuff. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. With the new laptops the, today, you can just put them on your lap and work. Back in the day, you put them on your lap and work, and in about 10 minutes, you had 30 degree burns. So that's it's, right. It's, it's right. a yeah, very, and, 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 they, and they made you sterile as well, which is, you know, it's, it's well, that explains a lot. lot. <laughs> so, um, but no, but then like, that's what we're talking about AI. So we went off on our little tangent, which was cool. But at the end of the day, that's AI. To me, it's like the old 386 to what the it's Apple the is ball. today, to what the phones are today. So yeah. all these companies are going to have to evolve or someone else will evolve. So yeah. Musk complaining about, you know, it's not it's doing not what it's set out to be. It's not, it's not no, becoming yeah, a yeah. an honorable I don't, man. Understand, I don't like understand it. I don't, maybe you why, do more why, why even, Yeah, what, yeah why, exactly. What, what's yeah. What, yeah, other, other I think it's publicity. publicity. You think so? I think it's just publicity, David. I don't think he's I don't but, I think he's how, much, guys, how much this how much this filing that, that court case cost then? It must have cost oh, it doesn't it. matter. If you have if you have 30, 40 billion dollars and you have to pay your attorneys a half a million dollars to do it, that's like who it's like play money. It's like who cares? Yeah. Just go he yeah. I think is that he's, cheaper than he's, getting an advert in the paper, I suppose. Probably. I think he just wants attention. It's sort of like you're an unloved child. I get it. You want attention because all the stuff that he talks and does and when he tweets and all his other crap he does is usually just bullshit. He doesn't really say anything of any value. I mean, people hear him speak and I've heard him and they're like, oh my God, he's so smart. I'm like, really? Because like I just heard some other guy say the same shit last week and no one's giving him praise, but he gets praised because he's Elon Musk and people mm -hmm. are like, oh, you're wonderful and you're this. And I'm like, yeah. And you, and in fact, I was at, when we were in Dubai, we met guys from SpaceX. They were trying to sell rides around the earth for $40 million. And I said, why? Uh -huh. And he said to me, well, because people think that's cool. I go, that's bullshit. If, what would I, if, if you're going to take me to the moon for $40 million and I circle the moon or you land me on the moon, that's $40 million. For me to say that I basically went up in your spaceship, circled the globe, was weightless for 30 seconds and came back for $40 million. I got a certificate. It's like being in an airplane. Who gives a shit? That's a 90, it's, it's a 90 minute trip around the globe. It's a yeah, but who cares? Yeah. But 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 who cares? It's, 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 I don't care if you have. I don't care if you have a billion dollars or not. Forty million dollars to say you did but it is it, so yeah, stupid. Exactly. Exactly. And, and like now, you say, it's, it's, it's coffee. I, money, dis I disagree. So, I mean, it, it might yeah. be overpriced. It might be overpriced. But to fly around the planet, I yeah, I'd love to. I'd no. love. To, I'd love to do it. I'd love to do it. But it have to be like four euros. Yeah, that's right. No, no, but my point is, if, if I said to him, I said, you know, if you said this, if I said, I said to him, if you said to someone, it's five million or maybe ten million, maybe. I said for forty million, I want you to take me to the moon, and now whether we land or not, I don't care. But I want to see the moon, circle the moon, and then come home. That's a forty, right? That's a forty million dollar ticket. Well, for, well, what about Virgin the Earth? Galactic no. then? How much is that? That's also they're out of business. Stuff. It doesn't matter what they are anymore. Oh, they're gone. Are they out of business? Yeah. yeah, they filed bankruptcy. They're gone. Richard Branson couldn't compete with Bezo. And I think Branson probably had the best idea. Um, but I don't think he got 
back in the day, Richard was like the guy. He was the Elon Musk and and, and Bezos in the eighties and nineties. Yeah. But now it's two thousand twenties, and nobody really knows who Richard Branson is anymore. They know Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk, so they're throwing money at these guys. I don't mm. see um, Bezos' spaceship doing much, um, and Musk's stuff. So I'm thinking Bezos may, may fade out. So it'll blue, really just Bezos, be Musk. Blue, blue, blue Earth, Blue Planet. What was his? something? Whatever it's called, it's blue. Yeah. So uh, who knows? It's blue. It's, so, it's, it's blue. But I mean, yeah. I don't get uh, like I don't care how much money you have. There's a point where, you, and this is what I talk. We talked about this a couple of nights ago at dinner. People who have worked and made money, like me. Like I've worked for every penny. No one gave it to me. I didn't, I wasn't lucky and hit, you know, I'm not a Bitcoin millionaire. I'm not, I literally worked for every dollar. Yeah. And some of these guys, you know, they, they got into Bitcoin. I don't consider that working. Consider you got into something lucky or they got, you know what I mean? They found something and they became billionaires by mistake. Right. They didn't really work for it. So if you don't understand money or respect money and someone says it's $40 million, you're like, oh, it's $40 million. I know what a dollar is and I know what a billion dollars is. And I know how hard it is to work for every single one of those dollars. If you were in Bitcoin at like five bucks and now it's what, 69,000. And all of a sudden, you know, you, ha you have enough where you're a billionaire and you're like, okay, you didn't really yeah. work for it. You were lucky enough to bet on well, black and, at the casino. And okay, think right you know, about the, the, I, I, the the impact that you could have on other people's lives with $40 million yeah. as opposed Correct. to. I, I've, got a, I've got a friend, he, he was buying Bitcoin. He's got loads of it. He bought Bitcoin at under a dollar a pop. Okay. And Because that was just, he just thought, oh, that's, that's interesting. I'll, I'll yeah. have some of that. Good man. So, yeah. So he's happy. They, oh, he's happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah but he's one, of the, he's one of these people that is on a hard disk somewhere with all the other. Oh, no, oh, okay. Like, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's a so, good point. So, it's, it's a good so point. Can't find the hard disk. Can't find his code. No, 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 yeah, yeah, I got right, it. Right, right. So, what did, yeah, what yeah. did they say? How much? How much is Bitcoin's lost forever? Two point four million, or maybe th between three and six million Bitcoins that are lost forever because yeah. people, uh, you know, yeah. lost them. The, well, uh, in the beginning, you could do it. It was fun to mine it. It was just one because that's why he did it. He saw. Oh, you know, we just do it and see what happened. Oh, I've got yeah. this thing which came out of nothing. So it was a bit, right. a bit like a slot, a bit like a slot. That's machine. the thing. You know, you got to protect it. You know, they didn't yeah. see value in it. They didn't protect yeah. the the. Uh, you know. But the bad part about this, the Bitcoin, and and is like, the, at some point, I mean, I know du the UAE wants to be the capital of blockchain and crypto algorithms and everything, and, and I think they probably they are heading there. And I know like the rest of the Middle East region is all like with them. They're going to do that. But at some point, India has banned all crypto algorithms, right? Yeah. You know, China is just kind of waiting for something. And, you know, they're going to ban it because they're not going to let you go with it. And if, oh, and if Trump you, becomes... You if, use if, their if, own, you know. You can right, use what they're going to use their own. We have our own. We don't really use it. If Trump becomes president, let's assume he's going to ban it. So the the riding high of it right now, where it's 69, 70, 100, it's going to go to a million, a billion, whatever it is, interesting the Vinkle Vinkle twins, or whatever the hell their name is, they tried to get an EFT fund. They couldn't because they're nobody. BlackRock they gets one, which is the same BlackRock. fund as that they wanted to do, right? Uh, so yeah. now that BlackRock's got one, all of a sudden it's like, ooh, look at this. And it's the same thing I've said before. The public are a bunch of ostriches. They are dumb. They will buy whatever Wall Street gives them because it's like a get rich quick Ponzi well, game. Well, there was, there was trust. There was a concept of trust. You know, you would trust yeah. your bank. So, yeah. I don't. I don't trust I mean, BlackRock. As far as are you kidding? People, yeah, of course. But I want to think that people thought that they could trust institutions, and they've been proven. Really? Wrong. Did you look at 08? Have you have you seen 08? Yeah, right, have you right. have you seen right. what happened? But the, the general the burning the, the burning question is: Can you trust me to go on to Lost and Found? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. We got. We're going to get the lost and found shortly. We're still. We're still going off on a tangent let's, here. Let's, no, we're still on the Bitcoin tangent. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, I thought we're going to go to lost and found. Okay, okay. I thought. Oh, but, you yeah, want to run yet? Do we run the other advert now, Stephen? Or we, oh, yeah, we can run. We can run. Yeah, we can okay, run here. Let, let, let's let's just let's pay it. a bill. Making the right connections is vital to your business and professional success. But reaching out to strangers is awkward and mostly a waste of time and resources. Imagine a world where AI takes the hassle out of networking. Enter Hero, your noise-free professional network powered by AI. What's so cool about Hero? 
How about getting your own AI networking assistant that's dedicated to solving your challenges by handpicking connections and opportunities that are right for you? But Hero does more than just meaningful matchmaking. We equip you with a customized storefront accessible to anyone on or off the Hero network to help enhance your brand and boost your revenue, making it easy to turn those meaningful connections into valued customers all within Hero. Hero is networking as it should be, meaningful conversations with well-meaning people without the noise. Yeah, I think that ad, their new ad that they're working on with their new yeah. tech, that's part of it. But now my understanding is from their CTO um, and everybody that they've got like that plus, plus, plus. And I was like, what? if you, I said to them, literally, I want to see it when it works. I said, but if you have that, you guys are going to come on our show and you're going to show that to us. I said, because that will be a global game changer and the planet will be banging at your door. So wow. this is like a little teaser. I mean, what they're at, but the stuff that they're telling me they're about to come out with, I'm like, if you can show it to everybody, people, and they're in Saudi Arabia now talking to sovereign wealth funds and VCs and whatever that want to throw money at them. They're also like, just show it to us. So they've got like yeah. commitment for stupid money. Um, and they're supposed to be able to show it to them. I want to say at the end of this month, so April 1st, hopefully next month, we'll get them on the show to show us their tech. Well, and that, okay, if their tech is what they say it is, I think it's going to be game changing. And since we're somewhat, Michael's more tech savvy than all of us, but since we're somewhat tech savvy, if we like it, we're, we're not idiots. Yeah. yeah, it'll be interesting. Well, David and I just go like, it's, ooh, it's pretty. Um, but you're more tech savvy than David and I. But I think it's, yeah. it sounds interesting. So it'll be fun to see what happens. Yeah. yeah. Got yeah. Nice, they've got lots of colors and they flash on and off. I'm happy. About yeah, it. we're happy with that. Well, that's, yeah. That, and that's why I preferred MySpace over Facebook. Come on. <laughs> yeah. I never use MySpace. So I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't say anything to that. Uh, I didn't really use Facebook because I didn't really care that somebody's kid was going to go poopy about your kid's birthday party and i don't like that many people or, or taking people pictures of, or taking pictures of food yeah. steven uh, yeah yeah i know only scotch mm -hmm. just scotch why... and just on instagram and also, just on two old farts but... making noises yes two old, we just so everybody knows on two old farts making noises on our instagram that's what it's called we do have two videos that have gone over a million we have one video that's done 4.7 million and we have another one that's done about a million and we've got a few that are at half a million and we have the others that are like you know 500 to a thousand but yeah so we do have a few that people really like and i'm shocked when they like it um because david will say what do you think of this i'm like yeah i'll get 20 views and i look at it three days later i'm like hey david it's got like three and a half million views and i'm like i have no mm -hmm. idea why and the same when we do it on our channel there's some shorts that get I'm like, really? That's what you like? And then the ones that we think are going to do great get like 20 views. So it's just, it's just constant. So you, you got to realign, you got to realign your uh, expectations for content. I now have no expectations. I'm just no. like, here you go, public, do what you want. Yeah. Yeah. Do what you want, do what you want with it. So because people would say, well. oh, you have to do this, you have to do that. I said, well, yeah. yeah. But you know, if we knew what we had to do, then we'd, all, we'd be, yeah, we'd be doing this from a tropical island somewhere. And not to hear sitting here upstairs, my house freezing my nuts off in March. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> no, 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 I'd be somewhere else. But um, hey, lost and, so. lost, yeah, and found, lost, lost and found, lost and found, guys. Come on, lost, lost and found. All right, here we, here we go. Welcome to this week's Lost and Found, uncovering dollar winners and losers, where we discuss dollars lost <laughs> and dollars gained by various companies and projects. All, All right. right. Well, since it's a short, it's a short <laughs> crew, we'll go with Michael, then we'll go with me, and then David, of course, will give us something David's that's saving the planet, or God knows what it's going to be doing. I can't God wait to see what, what it is. Be good. We know it'll there be good. Go. Well, I'll start us off with uh, with with a cautionary tale about uh, emojis. Okay. So be careful how you use that thumbs up emoji because a Canadian judge says that a thumbs up emoji actually amounts to a contract acceptance. Because there were a couple of guys, one farmer wanted, was, was asking for grain, and the grain buyer said, uh, said responded to the text message as, with the bid price with a thumbs up, saying that that was, that was good. And uh, the guy later said, the buyer later said, uh, no, it's, uh, I, I didn't actually mean, I didn't mean to confirm that contract with a thumbs up. 
they went through a lawsuit and uh, and now uh, the judge actually said no. The thumbs up in that context amounted as a digital signature to that. So wow. that but, that's, but see, in America, to have an agreement, you have to have consideration. So you would have to also give them money. So in America, it wouldn't be, I don't think, because you have to have a, a consideration, an agreement, a whole thing. So consideration is considering some monetary value. I mean, it's less, it's less, the emojis are less dangerous in the United States, I think. Maybe, okay. but that's just crazy. So, I'm that's gotta that's, go, that's gonna go to a higher court. That's the dumbest yeah. thing. Is well, that a lost dollar? Sure. That, that, that's a lost dollar and a found dollar, then, isn't it? But, but for oh. both, I suppose. That, yeah, that's that's right. So, if somebody so, sends a girl the eggplant emoji and she gives you a thumbs up, does that mean that legally <laughs> now she has to sleep with you? What's the story there, then? Oh, uh, no, uh, uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. Right. Right. That's crazy. Well, what you no, here's what I have, and this is going to segue right into it. So Red Bull, um, the head of Red Bull Racing, I forget his name, the little guy that's only this big that's married to one of the Spice yeah. Girls, he was charged with sexual harassment for one of the females with emails that went back and forth and whatever, and they investigated it, and it was a big hoo-ha in F1, and yesterday they made an announcement that somebody was going to get fired, and it was the girl who brought the charges against them, because God forbid you, you fire the guy who has got the number one FT, F1 racing team for the last three years. Oh, wow. So well, she if said that's she's, not she's a bunch of bullshit, I have not heard. She's been suspended. Uh, yeah, on what uh, on what grounds did they suspend well, We don't know. Christian Horner says that uh, he got asked, he said, uh, it's nothing to do with Red Bull racing. It's all to do with Red Bull, uh, the company in Germany slash Austria. So you have to ask them. That's oh, nothing wow. to do with me. Nothing to do with me. I'm at the center of the conspiracy, uh, but, it's, but, <laughs> but it has nothing to do. With it. It's but like it's I shot. I shot it. Mr. I shot <laughs> Mr. Lincoln, but it's not my fault. The gun mis discharged when I put it behind his head. Yes, I got that. But my point is, I read that at the beginning of the week that he, because you know I'm an F1 fan, and I'm reading this, and I'm like, oh, this is interesting because he came. He seems like a tool. And I'm like, all right, I could see you sexually harassed, whatever. Got it. Okay, fine. It is what it is. Right? Just admit it. You did it. And we'll just move on. And everybody always goes, I never did it. Listen, if you sexually harass somebody and they say, yes, you did, or you banged and you went a little boom boom in the bedroom, just admit it. Call the day. People will respect you. Yeah. Keep your job. But he said, no, yeah. I didn't do it. And blah, blah, blah. I mean, but meanwhile, they fired the girl or she suspended. Yeah. Well, she's but to me, it's like on full, on full pay. On full well, yeah, pay. because she, they know if they don't, if they do, if they well, fire that, yeah. her or suspend her without full pay, she's going yeah. to sue them and she's going to own Red Bull. So yeah. this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Just either one, shut up about it or two, admit yes. Like Clinton said, I did not have intercourse. No, she blew you. That's not intercourse. You are correct, Bill. It's the same crap here. Listen, you sent some pictures, you sent an email. Who cares? I don't know if people realize this. We're in the year 2024. This woke bullshit where you can't, you know what? People are still human. People still do things. He wanted a little something from a hot 20 year old because his wife's 40. Who gives a crap? He could have admitted his mistake and uh, yeah. moved on. And he, instead, he did to get her suspended, which is uh, which is yeah. a low brow thing to do. Right. So where it's, are we on this one, Stephen? Is it is this a lost, lost dollar. dollar? Lost yes. definitely lost dollar. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Or, lost. or is it or is it because we know that Red Bull loves publicity? Is it a found dollar? Oh, that's a big. I don't well, think that's the issue. publicity they want. Yeah, here's the here's the issue. Um, it's not so much Red Bull publicity. It's really because Red Bull really they just put their name on the car. What you have to look at is it's F one. So F1 looks at this as like, oh my God, listen, it's an elite sport. Like I've gone to the races. I like the people that go there because we sit in VIP, you know, they, they have money. The, and the average fan has to have money because I know what those tickets go for. So for F1, they're like, oh no, we can't have this. You know what? F1, it just shows that you're human and you're not a bunch of dicks. And your Netflix series makes you come off like a bunch of dicks. So it's okay that you're human. And that this guy wants to flirt with a 20 or 30 or however old she is because he doesn't think his wife's giving him enough whatever behind the doors or whatever. This, who cares? Just say, yes, I did it. We're done. And if you didn't really do it, but there's emails, it's like you have emails yeah, or texts emails. back and forth. It's If I say to somebody, like if, and if I wrote to one of you guys, he goes, I want to go blah, 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 blah. And someone says, look at this text that he sent. I go, I didn't send that. Seriously? Come on. Yes, I <laughs> sent it. I meant it, but done. Admit it. And the problem is, in today's society, nobody wants to just be a man, stand up and go, I did it, I fucked up, I'm sorry, 
I will yeah. try not to do it again, but I am human. I do have needs. I found so-and-so attractive. What do you want from me? You could have said that. Simple. You could have said yeah. that. And I would respect somebody more than the bullshit. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't, yes, because apparently while you were sleeping and your subconscious picked up the phone and went, come on, <laughs> let's go. You're ridiculous. So uh, what do I know? Yeah. So, <laughs> David, right, what well, are you going to take us well, home with? Well, I, I got ridiculed last week for, you know, talking about soap. Um, <laughs> they never came on the show, by the way. It was a particular yeah, kind of soap. Yeah. Daniel Soap. Never, Daniel Soap. Never, yes. It never made that from, 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 you know, yeah, keep the keep. Yeah. I just got criticized for that. And so I, I've been reflective all week. Uh -huh. And oh, so, so, and so I thought that I would talk about gold, which is really important. It's sure. a, you know, it's a, it's a precious metal. Right. And, um, uh, you know, and luxury. Oh, my God. As well. Because, and, um, and, and, and also combine that then with. Mm -hmm. Chips. So uh, oh. this is this is my contribution this week. Okay. Oh. Luxury sex toys, the most refined and sophisticated sex toy for personal pleasure. There's a beautiful carrot object is available in 24 carat gold for a delicious blend of temperature, sensory luxury for a price around three thousand wow. dollars. Wow. Yeah. So, so I, thought, I, I kind of thought that filled, filled all the issues then. We got gold. <laughs> we've you got luxury. To, filled all the issues there. That's right. With the yeah, Olga. Yeah. The Olga yeah. luxury sex toys. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I just, I just, I thought we'd keep it as a, as a sensible business show that we are and talk about luxury. That's and, right. Luxury and luxury gold. Night. Well, it's gold. And, 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 and relationships. It will preserve its value over time. Yeah. Oh my. And evidently, God. evidently, you you just can't order them. They you have they they're handcrafted. You have to wait. Well, they're handcrafted. Well, sure, three. because you know they're only going to touch you. It's in not going to be mass produced. Yeah, right. like two or three, yeah. two or three weeks. I don't. I don't think. And of course, you know, the, the I think the most appalling aspect of this particular object is that for those people who really can't afford the three thousand dollars, it's also available in stainless steel. No. Oh well, that's, listen, that's embarrassing. Yeah. If you yeah. can't give your loved one a three thousand dollar toy, then I, you're just poor. By the way, exactly. this looks like a. This looks like for the people on the podcast that aren't watching us. This right. looks like a car handle. It does not look <laughs> yeah. like a luxury sexual toy. It just looks like a car handle from like a nineteen thirty seven wow. Studebaker. That is what this yeah. looks like. Yeah. Well, we yeah, that, that's probably well, what they're doing. Smart. That's probably what, where all those door handles have gone. That's why you can't get one if you're restoring a, um, a you know. <laughs> the truth behind the but, truth behind the luxury sex toy. It's a car handle. Yeah. Oh it's a car yeah. handle yeah. that they just that yeah. just so, gold, they gold. It's got to be so, gold plated because it can't be solid gold. If that was solid gold, it'd be much oh, more. Oh, that's a lot more than three thousand dollars. Yeah. yeah, it has to be gold plated. Yeah, and it's twenty four yeah. karat gold, so it's not the best gold. It's not like 18 or 14. And then you got to find out if it's plum. It's a whole thing. Yeah. But that's yeah. very interesting. So yeah, well, I may know a little about gold. You, you did it again. You did it again. David, I, well, I, I will, I've, I've tried. It's a, it's a business show. You have to talk about, uh, you know, gold really? and luxury items and stuff like that. Yes. And, Apparently. And, and, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad. Well, I'm glad you did. So that's a, that's a one. That's a lost or found. Is that a winner or lost, Dave? Well, well, I think I think if you if you receive one from someone, uh -huh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but if you're buying one, it's a lot. If you, one. If you have to buy one for somebody for whatever reason, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> receiving it is a, is a is a win, and buying it is a loss. That's funny. And David, let us comment before we go. You were Nikki Haley's last hope, apparently. Yes, I was. Yeah, she has announced. Oh, yeah. I think it was yesterday or the day before that she dropped out. Because she yeah, lost I, 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 I Nevada had her on the to phone. nobody. I had her on the phone. You had her on the phone. And, uh, you know, yeah, and I said, well, you know, I mean, I, you know, I could, I could help you out. You know, I could because I think, she, I think basically she was said, if I come onto the Lost Dollar Business Club, um, then uh, there's hope for me. Right. There um, is. But um, yeah, evidently, it all went pear shaped before she could get on the show today, which is Saturday morning in Hollywood, and. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> So it's uh, it's all too late. So I was her last hope. But yeah, she can still come on and talk to us about 
the Democratic and Republican parties and what's going on. And it'd be it would be very interesting to have uh, your representative Nikki Haley on uh, on the show. Yeah, yeah. she's still welcome to the Lost Dollar Business Club. That's right. Even though she she she's gonna she bowed out and lost in Nevada to nobody. Um, right. be, which is kind of hard to do, but that's, we that's still cool. want her on the show. Actually, you know what's really funny? If Nikki came on the show, we'd probably treat her nicer than we would treat Elon Musk. I would hope well, so. You, well, you'd probably yeah, treat her nicer than you treat me, but there you go. Well, I, you know, listen, that's because <laughs> I, I love you like the sister I never had. So, you yeah, know how that goes. Exactly. There you go. So, so there right. you are. Let's, let's yeah. enjoy your rest of your Hollywood Saturday. And, um, <laughs> That's right. I love yes, because we're up at five o'clock right. in the morning central time, six o'clock New York time. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe and like. And if you enjoy our show, tell your friends. If not, don't tell anybody. And feel free to leave comments just to let you know whether they're on shorts or on our shows. We do read them. We just don't respond to them whether they are some of them are very visceral. We were talking about before the show. They are scathing and we kind of chuckle at those. The ones that are funny and nice, we appreciate those. But we're getting so many now, which is a nice thing. So we don't respond to all of them. Um, but we do appreciate the comments, even if the ones that tell us how much you hate us and don't want to go to dinner with us and whatever. We're good with those. And the ones that say well, you love us and you make fun of us, we love those as well. But thank you all for watching and listening. And we'll be back next Saturday at 6 a.m. New York City time, which is EST for those people elsewhere on the planet. So there you go. Well, don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for your Cheers. time, guys. See you next right. week. Bye-bye. See you next week.